awaiting more support from the union budget, industry professionals continue to share the disappointment. Many, many things have not been addressed and we had uh, expectations and we are disappointed as a whole. But I think it's, it's never too late. Uh, there are some policy decisions which can be taken uh, outside the budget uh, where uh, no uh, uh, direct cash is involved or, uh, you know, it can mean an immediate dent somewhere else. Infrastructure push will definitely uh, help domestic tourism uh, but at the same time if more benefits would have been given it would have been a welcome step given the uh, contribution the focus that the uh, budget uh, that the this sector brings in both uh, in terms of uh, travel as well as hospitality uh, positive part apart from the ecgls has been the introduction of e-passports uh, which hopefully will improve contactless travel which will which will accelerate the speed of international travel. I wish government would have thought a little bit more about the employment that we generate. We are looking at new industries, SMEs and all. We are not looking at the industry which is already there, which can expand a lot. So my expectation was from the budget that, you know, some kind of booster will be given to the tourism industry and it was not. The industry as a whole suffered for last two years due to pandemic. We were expecting a major boost from the budget for revival of the industry. A good news, I could see that 60% increase in tourism infrastructure will certainly invite more investors to invest in the industry of theme parks, amusement park, water parks, and it will certainly help a domestic tourism to grow. Since short term, we may not see the results of what are desired, but in long term, I think two years from now, I think it will give overall growth for the industry. As far as the tourism travel industry is concerned specifically, uh, it is a little bit um, uh, disappointing because uh, our major uh, thing was on the TCS to be removed, uh, which has not been uh, looked into it. We were really expecting that they should come out with some kind of a relief in terms of uh, exemption from GST, uh, rolling back on the TCS and all other aspects, giving lesser uh, interest rates for people who are not able to, to pay so much of, uh, lo uh, repay their loans and all that stuff. But uh, I don't think that the government understands the importance of the travel trade as such.